he was throwing, he opened the door and he was throwing up so hard. I almost threw up. And the dude behind me, I was like, look, if you fucking throw up on me, we're gonna fight. We all got personal, real <laughs> what's up guys welcome back to the channel and in today's clip we're gonna be looking at man look i drove uber i drove lyft when they first came to cleveland i got plenty of horror stories for you guys one story in particular is the story that dial face truckers shout out to dial face trucker now she don't go by dial face trucker anymore she goes by joe john definitely go over there and support her channel she got a story. She got a story for you guys, a Uber story. She said that a passenger, a couple of passengers, they was drunk. They got up in their car and the unthinkable happens. And I, I believe that is always on the back of every Uber driver mind, right? That when a drunk passenger gets into your car, you always going to be afraid that they are going to throw up in your vehicle. And lo and behold, Dojan became a victim of it. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. I'm just having the worst time today. I had the worst time today. A block away from my drop off, from dropping the passenger off, there was three guys. And the one behind me was burping a lot. And I'm like, are you going to throw up? And he was like, no, I'm not. The one next to him threw up. And and he tried to hold it in. That's the worst part. He tried to hold it in and he couldn't separate it. So it got into the little crevices of my door and it threw up all up in there. So they tried to clean it up as much as possible, but I have to stop driving for the night, get in my car. They tried to clean it up as much as possible and they just didn't get in the, they're all drunk. So he couldn't really clean it up like that. But the passenger that was sitting next to me, he, he downloaded Cash App and sent me $200 for the pro the issue and then the guy who ordered the uber he said um that he will like I don't, it's okay to make a claim and he'll pay whatever he has to pay and then they also said that they would tip more in the app so hopefully they do that but i'm thankful that he gave me a 200 because i i would have been good for another four hours or so or probably two hours and that would have been another 100 100 150 dollars so yeah that's that happened. I never understood why people get pissy drunk to the point of they have to throw up. I, I never understood that. And I'm a happy drunk when I got drunk. But I wasn't drunk drunk to the point of woozing and throwing up everything that I had ate that night. Okay? I'm, I'm just simply saying. I'm simply saying, but similar situation has happened to yours truly, but I didn't let it get to the point of that passenger throwing up in my car, okay? And I'm gonna tell you why. Come, come now. I know you ain't serious. You about to get sneeze smashed. So I, I went and picked up a couple of passengers that was downtown, right? And the guy and the girl got into my car and i already knew right off the rip that this wasn't going to be a good night so the guy got in my car and he started acting all kinds of weird and i asked the young lady i said well i see you guys going on the other side of town which the ride would have been at least 15 20 minutes 25 minutes tops okay because from downtown to where they stay it was about 25 minutes it was a pretty good ride i would have made a, a decent amount from it but the guy just didn't seem right to me so as i pull off the guy started to act a little bit more funny and i'm like I'm looking at the dude in the rear view. I'm like, yo, man, are you, you good back there? You good back there? Because uh, I said, do I need to pull over for you? Nah, I'm good. And I'm looking at his girl like, hey, it may, make sure he's all right. Because if he throws up in my car, it's going to be a problem, a huge problem. So she was like, no, no, he's good. He's good. Let's just hurry up and get him home and yada, yada, yada. And I'm like, okay. 
So I get ready to pull off, and here he goes again. I was like, I, man, look, I pulled over to the side. I said, look, hey, I'm, I'm canceling the ride. Maybe it probably might be better to get a cab because, like I said, if he throws up in my car, it's going to be a problem. So she goes, well, he's good, he's good. I was like, no, no, I, I don't want to take that chance. So I, I says, I'm good. I appreciate you guys getting out of the car. Now, these two wasn't a problem. They did get out of my car. And as soon as he got out of the car, guess what he did? You guessed it. He threw up everywhere. Oh, somebody called 911. I think he's finished. Like, and it was a whole puddle on the ground. So lo and behold, I, I, I'm, I'm thinking myself like, yeah, I, I knew that was coming. So that's, that's why I, I pulled over and let him do that. The second incident, the dude didn't even get in my car. He, he was pulling on my door. He was knocking on the window. He was like, yo, can I get in? Can I get in? Can I get in? I'm like, no, dude, you just got finished drawing up, man. You're not getting up in my car. No. You see, that's the issue. With, with, with people that's drawing up, that's bodily fluids right there, man. And, and just to wipe it up, just don't get it clean. Like when you go and get your car detailed and everything, I think it's going to cost like maybe about a hundred, hundred fifty. I don't know about how much it costs you guys, but I know the average cost uh, to get a car detailed from somebody that's throwing up. It's going to cost you a little grip. It's going to mess up your night. It's going to stop your flow and you're going to have to hurry up and get it detailed quick because when it dries up and get all that crust, that's when it gets hard. It gets harder to clean that bad boy. So hopefully for ain't no love for you out west, punk. Let's do it. Jo jo John, she was able to get her car detail. And luckily for her, the gentleman was cool enough to get her like two hundred dollars. And then you could still charge uh, through the Uber app for the cleaning and it would charge them i think at the time it was 200 dollars for uh, uber cleaning fee but when you shoot that through uber the person that you're shooting it to still have to authorize that and then it has to go through these steps right here and these steps over here and stuff like that it, it's it's crazy so at the time i ain't wanted to be bothered with it so but yeah picking up passengers at night especially from the bar even though it's a, probably might be a good run but you all it, it only takes one person one person to mess up the night so Luckily for Dojan, she was able to get an extra $200. Uh, she was still able to credit that uh, guy, and she also got some tips. So that's real good. So drivers, yo, I, I, I don't know how Uber and Lyft is now, but if you get the inclination that somebody don't look right and they acting all kind of weird, man, I tell you, you better pull that bad boy over and tell them to get out.